Over the past four years, I've kind of developed an unhealthy obsession with buying seeds. In any of the stores I go into, if I see the seeds, I have to stop. This has left me with a ton of unorganized seed packages. I've been trying a bunch of different ways to organize my seeds. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I think is the absolute best way. I used to keep the seeds in the boxes that they were shipped in, and that way I knew everything fit. The problem was when I was trying to find a specific variety of seeds, it took far too long going through multiple boxes. It wasn't the end of the world using this method, but I've got a far better one for you guys. The first thing you wanna do is organize all your seed packages. You wanna separate all your seeds and put them into separate piles. So I'll take all the peas that I've got, put them into their own pile, same with the radishes. You do that with every single one of your seeds and make individual piles. So let's get that done now. With this new seed organizing method, I wanted everything to be labeled better so I could find things easier. I wanted to have more protection than before, so not just a cardboard box in the seed package. And I wanted to organize the seeds in a way where I knew when to plant them, so in the spring or the summer. And for the fourth thing, I think it's the best part, the thing that brings all this together, but I'll explain it later in the video. So I've got my tomato pile and my spinach pile here. Spinach is a cool season crop. It can be started four weeks before your last frost date. Where tomatoes are a warm season crop, and can only be transplanted into the garden after your last frost date. I take all the piles I just made and separate them into cool season and warm season crops. And you're gonna use that to label later on in the video. And here's a list of the cool season and the warm season crops for you. There are still a few things to do to get the best seed organization, but first let me show you the secret weapon that I have been using for two years now. It's a four by six photo organizer. Back in the day, they used to use these to put photos in each of these individual cases, but it works absolutely perfect for a seed package. It fits almost every single size of seed package that I've found, but little do they know it's a perfect weapon for a gardener. So you pretty much, you've got three protective layers. You've got your first protection, which is your seed package by itself. The second protection, the second layer will be the photo cases. And then the third one is the casing around the whole thing. They say for every layer of plastic that you put around your plants, it'll increase your gardening zone by 1.5. And this is two layers. So your seeds are pretty much living in Florida. And I'll link to this in the description below if you guys want to pick one up. Mikos, what you doing? Found a wild Miko. Miko, what you doing? You want to get in the video? Hi Mikos, come here. Come here, boobos. He used to hate outdoors, now he absolutely loves it. What has always made sense to me is separating your seeds into a spring slash fall container and a summer container. That way, when it's time to plant my cool season seeds, I can just grab this handle and take everything with me. Where I live, we pretty much go straight from winter to summer. Spring's very minimal. I have to plan and get my seeds out or I won't get as good of a harvest. With the piles you made, place them into the photo holders. It doesn't matter where they go yet. So I have seen some other gardeners alphabetically order each of their photo cases. What I like to do is everything that I use the most, like my tomatoes, squash, cucumber, I put them at the top. And for my spring and fall container, it's pretty much anything that gets planted out the earliest. If you guys are looking to figure out when you can plant all your seeds and you don't know how, your cool season, your warm season, then I've got something for you. This is zones three till 10. And this will tell you when to start your seeds indoors, when to transplant them, and when to drexel them outdoors. For 33 of the world's most popular vegetables, if you want to check it out, I will link it in the description below. And it is devinthegardener.se.com. When you are putting your seeds into your seed organizer, it's the perfect time to label everything. I use a label maker to label my seeds, just a D110 label maker, but you can use painter's tape with a Sharpie if you want. I just like the look of the label maker. This is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Nicely labeled, categorized. I can even find what I'm looking for with my eyes closed. Watch. Spinach, crap. That's not even close. That's the like button. I guess that's the sign you should smash it. In return, I'll bless your garden with the best organization you've ever had this year. Let's talk about a few extra tips that I do. So with these seed holders, 
I put the oldest seeds that I have, so if I have things from two years ago and I just bought new seeds, I will put those at the very front. And that's just to remind myself to use those in the garden first. So nothing expires, just keeps track of everything. I stick the garden labels. So I've got these piece of paper ones and I just stick them in between. It's very important to label what you plant in your garden so you don't lose track of it. I've done it many times, lost track of the variety or even my first year gardening, I didn't even know what something was supposed to look like. Labeling is a key, it's a must do. And with these containers, if you're not using them, then store them in a dry, cool and dark area. That'll make sure that the seeds are viable for longer. Now that you know the absolute best way to organize your seeds, would you like to find out 15 raised garden bed mistakes that most gardeners make? Check this video out here to find out how. Love you, bye.